YouTube, what's going on guys? Swamp Piper 84 coming your way, and I'm smoking my brand new Morgan Pipes Bender pipe. It's a blackjack bender. Smoking a little bit of Two Friends Redwood. Redwood. What else would I be smoking? And uh, yeah, bought this with uh, Chris's Memorial Day sale. Got that pipe. Got this awesome Bones pipe right here. And this beauty right here. Uh, these two were part of the grab bag uh, sale that Chris had going on during Memorial Day. Got this one and got those two for free. So thanks, Chris. Awesome pipes. All three of them smoke amazing. Definitely go check out Morgan Pipes if you guys don't have them pipe yet. And uh, yeah, great prices, great pipes. Awesome guy. So a uh, little bit of uh, what's been going on here lately. Um, you guys know I stepped away for a little while because of uh, family health issues. My grandmother's out of the hospital. She's doing well. Uh, she's on oxygen now, but hey, her rolling around with some oxygen is a lot better than her laid up in the hospital or worse, so uh, we'll take it as it comes. Uh, she's doing well, good spirits, joking around, being her normal self again, so very happy about that. And I thank all of you guys for the thoughts and stuff that you guys sent my way. Uh, little you know, private messages and stuff like that. You guys know who you are. Thank you very much. Um, also, I'm in school now. I started a uh, AC Tech uh, school uh, to get my license for uh, doing AC work. I did AC work for about a year and a half when I was 19, and it was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. The boss was a little bit of an asshole. That's why I left, but I, you know what? Got to deal with it sometimes. So, uh, yeah, I should be having my license here by January, uh, AC license, uh, go back into that field. I'm still going to do a little dabbling as far as uh, blending goes, but with the FDA and everything else, of course, that's been you know, minimized a lot. So, uh, on that note, I do have some Swamp 8 Vapor about to come out, um, say about a week, it'll be ready to go. Uh, I have a couple people already with the, the batches coming out in the next couple days uh, that's already gone a couple people have been uh, really wanting to try it out so I'll be sending that stuff out to you guys by the end of the week and anyone else that's interested just hit me up uh, uh, on here Voxer, Instagram it's all Swamp Piper 84 very easy to find me uh, hit me up let me know if you, uh, you want to try it how much you want to try and I'll make sure to get some your way uh, also a uh, little tip for or advice for people getting in. I'm going to sit this down because I'm not really smoking right now. A um, <clears throat> little advice for some people going into uh, buying their first artisan pipe. I uh, made a mistake, uh, let's see, about a year ago now. Actually, over a year ago. Um, guy popped up on Instagram. I'm not going to say his name because he's actually you know, trying to get things straightened out now. So I'm not going to blast his name or anything like that. But guy asked 200 bucks up front and gave him the $200. I didn't know better at the time. And over a year later, I still don't have the pipe. I've seen a couple pictures of it here and there. Like every four months or so, I get a picture of it. And yeah, definitely not worth the $200. Uh, so waiting on it now. Uh, and when it shows up, it probably will not be on video or anything else like that. I'm not going to advertise for the guy. I'm also not going to thrash his name or anything like that. Oh, a little alarm going off. But anyways, guys, I'm not going to thrash his name or anything else. But the advice I'd give to anyone going in to get their first artisan pipe is don't pay up front. When you actually see the pipe and it's done, then pay for the pipe. Um, go to guys you know, like, hell, the Pipe Carver's Guild. You got Sparky's Pipes. It makes an awesome pipe. You got NP Pipes. That makes an awesome pipe. Matt Van Pipes. You got Pipe Nutter. Making the awesome Falcon Bulls. You got guys like Not of the Woods. And Tom Carell. That all make great pipes. Affordable pipes and they work with you, they're all great guys. So check out the Pipe Carvers Guild if you're gonna go and 
buy yourself an arson pipe or go to guys like you know, Tom Carell, Not Out of the Woods, stuff like that. People that care about what they're doing and care about the customers uh, instead of just trying to make a quick buck. So, anyways, guys, uh, that's a little quick update for now. I hope everybody is well. I hope uh, your pipes are full and the FDA hasn't came down too hard on, you know, that's not affected you guys too much. So, I'll talk to you guys soon. And as always, peace and be excellent to each other. Thanks again, guys.